Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to find the reciprocal of a mixed number. You probably remember how to find the reciprocal of a normal fraction. For example, say we have 2 over 3, the reciprocal of this is just 3 over 2. We just flip the numerator and the denominator. But what if we had a mixed number? For example, the mixed number 3 and 2 sevenths. With a mixed number, we have an integer part and a fractional part, so how do we find the reciprocal of this? Well, if we could turn it into a normal fraction with a numerator and a denominator, then the process would be very easy. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We need to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. First, we'll go through the process, and then I'll explain a little bit about why the process works. So let me move this to the left just so we have more room to work with. The first step is to multiply the integer part, 3 in this case, multiply this by the denominator of the fractional part, which in this case is 7. Then, add the numerator of the fraction part, so that's plus 2, and then it's still all over 7. Remember our order of operations, so we'll multiply 3 by 7, and then add 2. 21 plus 2. 3 times 7 is 21, and then this is still over 7. Then, of course, we just have to add 21 and 2, that makes 23 over 7. So this is just converting this mixed number into an improper fraction. Then we just take the usual steps to find the reciprocal. Flip the numerator and denominator. So instead of 23 over 7, we have 7 over 23. And that's it. That is the reciprocal of 3 and 2 sevenths. And just quickly to explain this step here, when we multiply 3 by 7, what we're really doing is just finding a common denominator. Because we could write this mixed number, 3 and 2 sevenths, we could write it, if we wanted to, as 3 plus 2 over 7. And we could rewrite that, if we wanted to, as 3 over 1 plus 2 over over 7. And then to add these fractions together, we're just trying to find a common denominator. So what we do is multiply the numerator and denominator by 7, so that's 7 times 3 over 7 times 1 plus 2 sevenths. And then you can see in the denominator of both fractions, we just have 7. So now we can combine the fractions and we have 7 times 3 plus 2 over 7. And of course the order of this 7 times 3 doesn't matter, we could also write it as 3 times 7 like we did up here. So that's all that's going on there, is finding a common denominator to rewrite this mixed number as an improper fraction, and then we go through the standard procedure to find the reciprocal. And before we go, I think it's only right that we should do one more example. Let's say we have the mixed number 5 and let's say 3 tenths. Then, to convert this into an improper fraction, we just multiply the integer part 5 by the denominator, 10, and then add the numerator, and this is all still over 10. What's this equal to? Well, first we do the multiplication. 5 times 10 is 50, plus 3, all over 10, and then 50 plus 3, that's going to be 53 over 10. Then of course, finding the reciprocal is an easy and familiar process. Move the numerator down to the denominator, and move the denominator up to the numerator, 10 over 53. That is the reciprocal of 5 and 3 tenths. So that's really all there is to it, folks. That's how you find the reciprocal of a mixed number. And let me leave you with an example to try on your own. Let me know in the comments what you get. Try to find the reciprocal of this mixed number, 7 and 1 ninth. Thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I understand you're worried. This doesn't feel the same. But I won't give up, I won't